chance for LAFC, and it's in! This is clockwork football! Oh, what a save! Que clase de jugador! You will not see a better goal! Come on! What a beauty! Hi everybody, joining you from inside the locker room. This is LAFC Goal Rush. I am Max Bredos. We look back at the best of LAFC and we wrap it up in a little countdown program from five to one. So we start off with goals, then we did assists. Today, set pieces. And I know what you're thinking, LAFC didn't score a whole lot of them. As we look at the stats, you can see that LAFC scored a lot from the open flow of play. That is who the team is, but the good news they did start to score goals from set pieces in the tail end. And there's a lot of confidence that's something that they'll be able to build on to kick off 2019. So sure, there weren't a lot of set piece goals in their inaugural campaign, but man, when they scored them, they were unforgettable. So let's start our countdown. Coming up at number five, we don't have to go back too far. The playoff game against Real Salt Lake, it was on November the 1st. The beneficiary was Carlos Vela. The benefactor, Danilo Silva. Defends there's a free kick, does come in now, and the equaliser! Just like that! And it's redemption for Danilo Silva! But how good of a header is this from Danilo? Because his momentum's too far in, so he's got to come back and redirect it. It doesn't happen if it's an outswinging ball, Adrian. It, this is an in-swinging ball, so it makes it a little bit more easier for Danilo to just redirect it. That's so difficult for Nick Romando. And my goodness, what a world-class ball in from Carlos Vela. It's gonna be Vela, we're back in. He lobs it in, we are level! A glorious free kick from Vela, and Danilo celebrates in the North End. 1-1! Magic. All right, a little bit more on Danilo Silva. He was acquired on August the 3rd, five-month loan from Brazilian team Internacional. Played 10 games, started nine, became a big figure in that LAFC defense. He can defend, he can play balls out of the back, and he can also get involved in a set-piece goal, as you just saw there on number five. Essentially, the guy that he replaced, Laurent Simon, comes in at number four, and we know set-piece goals is something this guy did frequently and gave us so many great memories. Simon, by the way, on his way back to Major League Soccer is a member of Toronto FC. He comes in at number four on our list for this goal that he scored on June the 23rd against the Columbus Crew at Bank of California Stadium. Laurent Simon, only man behind it. He goes for a goal! Yeah! Another home free kick goal for this guy and what happens here in fact it doesn't really take any major deflection sometimes when a ball goes past a player at speed it does just make the ball swerve a little bit that might have happened it goes in there's a little bit of fade on it into the corner John Kempin in goal of course for the injured uh, Stefan can't get close to it what a great start for the home side now maybe LAFC didn't score a lot of set piece goals but exclude Laurent Simon from that because he made set piece history three direct free kicks in 2018 the most of any other player tied for fourth most free direct goals in a single season in Major League Soccer most ever in one season by a defender and he also had the fastest goal in LAFC history you just saw it June the 23rd Laurent Simon on the art of the free kick well, I think it's a combination of de plusieurs choses. Euh, si tu tires trop fort, la balle va monter, euh, ça va pas redescendre assez vite. Donc euh, voilà, c'est un, un peu une combinaison de, de choses qui font qu'il euh, y a un bon coup franc. Et pour l'instant, comme je te dis, il y a la chance qui, qui va avec. Et, euh, sans ça, ça ne fonctionne pas non plus. Je vais en rater encore des coups francs, mais, euh, mais je pense que voilà, à partir du moment où j'ai l'opportunité de, de tirer à cette distance-là, je vais la prendre. Laurent Simon, we won't see that more, but what a, what a great player in those situations for LAFC in season number one. All right, we're moving on to number three, and this brings us to one of my favorite quotes of the season. Put the ball in the box, baby. Those words from Walker Zimmerman back on September the 22nd. This was the first, remember, September 22nd. 
First direct corner kick goal for the team. Carlos Vela, Fanny Walker Zimmerman in the south end against the Earthquakes. This comes in at number three on our list. Vela, hard on the six, the header to the back of the net. What a goal by Walker Zimmerman. He came flying in and with power just hit it home. Setting it in with the left foot, six. There he is, Zimmerman, goal! Walker Zimmerman has scored on the header. His first goal of the season, it's 1-0, LAFC. It was really important. Like I said, we haven't had success on um, set pieces um, this whole season. And so that's been frustrating because for me as an individual, I feel like that's uh, one of my strengths, something that I can bring to the team, something that with the delivery of guys like Carlos and Lee, we just have to capitalize on. And so to finally get those goals off of set pieces, I hope that's a, a sign of, of more to come. The goals from corner kicks were a labor of love for LAFC. It took a while for them to come, but they certainly did. And they all came from Walker Zimmerman. All four of his goals coming off corner kicks. Four goals ties a career high. That matches uh, what he did in 2016 with FC Dallas. Walker Zimmerman, a bull on the back line, also with a nose for goal. We look forward to much more of that right at the beginning of the season. We certainly hope for LAFC. All right, I remember when Lee Wynn first arrived here. He had been inactive for a while. He was really battling to get into shape, and he was really competing to find his spot in Bob Bradley's system. And more than any other player by season's end, I think Lee Wynn was best at doing that and looked as comfortable as I had seen him in many years, and he was there to do it in black and gold. It took a while for him to get his first goal, but boy, did it come, and it came in a great place. Number two on our list, Lee Wynn scoring from the set piece against the LA Galaxy on July the 26th. LAFC have scored! Right off the free kick, Lee Wynn. Over 50 goals in New England, and what a time to get your first in LA. Lee Wynn up over the wall. David Bingham can't get a touch on it in exactly the way March 31st went. LAFC all over the LA Galaxy 20 minutes in. They are putting on a show tonight here in Los Angeles. Free kick. Lee Wynn takes it before we're even ready and it's in. Are you kidding me? Lee Wynn takes the free kick and scores. It's in and it's 2-0. The referee set the wall and... Lee Wynn said yes. All right, we've done it again. We have reached number one. And one of the features that I like the most of the inaugural season for LAFC is our players going back to their former teams and doing something special. And right at the top of that list and our list is Laurent Simon against his team that he started in Major League Soccer with, the impact of Montreal, and putting in a free kick from the heavens being verbal with the sideline, getting after impact coach Remy Gard. It was a special moment for him. It was a special moment for the team. April 21st, it's number one on our list. Will be Simon who drives and yes! Lawrence Simon, living on the end of a lightning bolt, gets that Montreal lead, cuts it in half. And what a moment, returning to where he played previously. Vela is over it. Looks like he wants a shot at goal. Simon steps up with the right foot, takes the shot. And in! What a shot from Laurent Simon! Sneaks it over to the far post. And his first goal of the season is against his former team, cutting the lead to 2-1. Oh, what a free kick hammer from Laurent Simon. How about this compare and contrast of Laurent Simon's offensive output? In his 85 games with Montreal, he scored twice. In his 22 games with LAFC, he scored on three occasions, including that remarkable one in Quebec. I know what you're thinking. Where was Laurent Simon's goal in the home opener against the Sounders right here at Bank of California Stadium? Look. We were all there. We had water coming out of our eyes after we saw that. It was a glorious moment, but we try to take emotions out of these lists on LAFC Goal Rush. 
Stephen Fry bobbled the ball. Was it aesthetically pleasing goal as the others on this list? We don't think so. You could disagree with me if you think that. Drop me a tweet at Ambrados ESPN. Drop me everywhere, Ambrados on Instagram. Let me know, you, we might be wrong on this. You, you have the final say on a lot of what we do, but that's our list and we are stamping it. All right, that's all the time we have here on LAFC Gold Rush as we look back at set pieces. Our next episode is LAFC's best saves. You might be thinking it's a Tyler Miller show, but you would be incorrect. Lots of good saves from several players. That's our next show. Until then, so long.